Hello students, this is Rekha. Today we will do SSLC model question paper 2, 2025-26 mathematics paper. This is total 80 mark paper. Already model paper 1 uploaded. You follow the playlist, you will get every answer. Let's start our class. Now, one mass questions, multiple choice questions. See beta. The degree of the cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial means highest degree is the 3. Quadratic means 2. Linear means highest degree is the 1. So, here he is asking cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial means highest degree is the 3. And now, second question. The formula to find the midpoint of the class interval. Class interval midpoint finding. What is the formula? Upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. As here, this is the class interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20, anyone you take. So, this midpoint, how you will find the lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. This is the formula. Okay. Where is there? See, lower limit plus upper limit. Otherwise, upper limit plus lower limit. However, way you write. So, option B is the correct. So, upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 means you will get the midpoint of the class interval. Okay. Uh, now, see your third question. What is the third question is there? If the lines represent in the pair of linear equation a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0, one more equation a2x plus b2y plus c2 intersect each other, then the correct relation among the following intersect each other, intersect c. Intersecting means this is the formula a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. Otherwise, coincident lines is there means all are equal a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2. Otherwise, parallel lines is there means b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. Okay, keep in your mind these three things. But here he is asking intersecting. Intersecting means what? a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. This is the answer. Now, fourth question. See beta. In an arithmetic progression, if third term is 13, second term is 8, then find, then uh, then the first term of the progression. Okay, see here, fourth question. Ah, see here, third term given a3 is equal to 13. Second term given a2 is equal to, a2 is equal to what? a2 is equal to 8. Now, we will find the first term. First term means a is the question mark. Okay. a3 is equal to, how can we write? a plus 2d is equal to 13. Okay. a2 is equal to a plus d is equal to 8. So, this equation, this equation you simplify means you will get the answer. See here, first equation what is there? a plus 2d is equal to 13. Next equation, a plus d is equal to 8. Okay. Now, we will change the symbol. Here minus, here minus, here minus. Minus a plus a cancel. As here 2 minus d, here you will get a d. Here 13 minus 8, 5. d is the 5. But is asking a. So, this equation or this equation, any equation we will take. What is the equation? This second equation we will take. a plus d is equal to 8. a plus d value is the 5 is equal to 8. So, a is equal to 8 minus 5. a is equal to what is answer? 3. a value first term is the 3. There is a 3. Option a is the correct answer. Next, the, the probability of an impossible event. Impossible event means it is a 0. Uh, next, we will move to 6th question. Carefully see here. The correct relation among the following. Correct relation see here. First one, uh, tan square theta is equal to uh, secant square theta plus 1. Actually, what is the formula is that this one? 1 plus, try to understand, uh, first formula, 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. Okay. Uh, see, uh, this one here given means uh, tan square theta is equal to tan square theta is equal to uh, sec square theta minus 1. But here is given plus 1. So, this is the wrong answer. Okay. Next, uh, sin theta is equal to, sin theta is equal to, it is 1 by cos theta. So, this is also wrong. Okay. Next, third one, see, cot theta is equal to cos by sin. But is, this is also wrong. But this is the correct answer. Answer. So, how to say carefully listen. Here, what is the formula? Actually, formula sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay. So, see here, sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Okay. 1 minus cos square theta. So, this option B is the correct answer. Okay. Uh, next, we will move to 7th question. See beta. What is the 7th question? Is there triangle ABC and DEF are similar triangles. We will take two triangles. One is a triangle ABC. Next, one more triangle, D, E, F. 
these both are similar triangles okay similar after what is given in the question try to understand uh, similar given after uh, a b by d a b by d next uh, a b by d next uh, b c by b c by f d is there so this taking is wrong so here you take e try to understand here you take e here you take d now you can observe a b a b by d correct next b c by f d this is also correct so in triangle a b c and d e f a b by d e next b c by f d okay f d then the uh, correct relation among the following okay which relation is correct so in this one angle a is equal to angle e so what is the angles are equal sides proportional means angles are equal angle a is equal to angle e angle b is equal to angle d next angle c is equal to angle f so in this one which one is there we will see and we will write c here b is equal to d d is equal to d so this c option is the correct b is equal to d is the correct option in this option b is equal to d is there you can take this one okay ah, next eighth question see beta what is the eighth question is there two cubes each having 64 centimeter cube value is one one cube value 64 centimeter cube centimeter cube are joined end to end form a cuboid okay the measure of the lowest side of the cuboid is what okay two cubes are there here one cube okay next one more cube is there two cubes are there they are joined end to end okay next here also one more cube is there they are joined end to end try to understand uh, see here each cube value 64 cubic centimeter okay they are joined end to end first value side of the cube we will find so volume of the cube formula what so volume of the cube volume of the cube is equal to here is given 64 centimeter cube so volume of the cube formula what a cube a cube is equal to 64 okay ah, now you write a cube is equal to you can write 4 cube okay so 3 3 cancel what is the a value a is equal to 4 so side is equal to your side how much is there 4 this side also 4 okay now is asking cf now is asking end to end the measure of the longest side so in this one side joined these two cubes at a time is this is the longest side what is the measure of longest side 4 plus 4 8 so length 8 breadth 4 height also 4 but is asking longest side length is the 8 so this answer is 8 okay now ninth question state the fundamental theorem of arithmetic okay uh, see uh, this much answer you write you will get the marks okay state fundamental theorem of arithmetic means you will write this sentence you will get the marks uh, see uh, 10th question write the write the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if the value of its discriminant is 0 okay quadratic equation means which form ax square plus bx plus c discriminant what is the discriminant b square minus 4ac it is a discriminant discriminant it is equal to 0 means what is the nature of the 0 0 is there means it is equal to 0 means real and equal roots equal to 0 means real and equal roots real and equal roots equal roots you can write it you will get marks in equal to 0 means real and equal greater than 0 means real and distant and less than 0 means no real roots these three you keep in your mind okay here he is asking equal to 0 equal to 0 means real and equal roots this much you write it you will get marks now 11th question see beta write the coordinates of the p coordinates of the p we will find which divides the line segment joining a coordinates x1 y1 b coordinates x2 y2 uh, internally the ratio is 1 is to 1 ratio okay see here, what is the meaning of this question one line is there a coordinates is x1 y1 and b coordinates is x2 y2 okay this p coordinates we find p coordinates don't know you write it x y and m1 m2 ratio m1 1 m2 1 okay now this x y value we will find okay uh, write the coordinates what is the formula is there see uh, this x y coordinates finding what is the formula m1 
x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 okay uh, comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 in this formula you apply the values means you will get the answer uh, see here uh, right here m1 means what the uh, one into x2 means uh, this is x1 y1 this is x2 x x2 means x2 only uh, plus m2 means uh, one one into uh, x1 okay divided by one plus one m1 means one m2 means one next m1 means one one plus one into y2 y2 means y2 only plus m2 means one y1 means here y1 only divided by m1 plus m2 means one plus one okay ah, now right here next one into x2 x2 plus one into x1 x1 one plus one two comma one into y2 y2 plus 1 into y1 y1 divided by 1 plus 1 2 so finally you can write p of xy coordinates so this coordinates p of xy coordinates is equal to this one we can write x1 plus x2 also x1 plus x2 divided by 2 this one we will write y1 plus y2 divided by 2 this writing also correct answer this writing also correct answer only this much okay now, 12th question. See better. Write the zeros of the polynomial y equal to p of x. y equal to p of x in given graph. He is asking write the zeros. Number of zero means we will write 1, 2. Number of zeros is 2 we will write. But he is asking write the zeros of the polynomial. What you, What is the write the zero of, zeros of the polynomial? x equal to this year, this, this curve is meeting first minus 1 next year 2 so what are the zeros of polynomial in this one zeros of the polynomial try to understand he is asking zeros of the polynomial zeros of the polynomial means minus 1 2 but number of zeros means we can write 1 to this line meeting how many times but he is asking zeros zeros means x values are minus 1 or 2 you can write it you will get marks okay now 13th question see beta 5 years ago nuri's age x was Trice age of Sonu y. Okay. Write the standard form of linear equation in two variables for this statement. Okay. Here, Nuri age, we will take first actually starting age, we will take Nuri age x. And Sonu age, we will take y. Next, five years ago. Five years ago, what age is there? It is five years, five less. Okay. So, five years ago, Nuri age, we will take x minus five years. So, no age we will take y minus 5 years. Okay. Next year, what is given? See here. What is the year? 5 years ago, Nuri was, Nuri was twice the age of Sonu. Nuri was twice the age of Sonu. So, this concept we will write. Nuri is equal to Nuri age is equal to twice. Twice means three times. Twice the age of Sonu age. Sonu. Age. This concept we will use. Nuri age is equal to twice the Sonu age. Okay. Ah, see here. Your Nuri age what to 5 years back? X minus 5. Is equal to 3 into Sonu age what? To? Y minus 5. Sonu age Y minus 5. This one simplified means you will get a equation. Linear equation in two variables. A standard form is asking. Okay. So X minus 5. Simplify this one. Is equal to 3 into Y. 3Y. 3 into 5 minus 15. Ah, now see here. X take this side minus 3y. Okay. Right minus 5, same place. This one it transfer this side. It's become a plus 15 is equal to 0. Ah, see here. X minus 3y minus 5 plus 10. You will get plus minus 5 plus 15. You will get big number sign plus 15 minus 5, 10 is equal to 0. x minus 3y plus 10. Okay. Is asking linear equation in two variables. Linear equation in two variables is standard form. So, linear equation in two variables. Uh, what is the equation? Ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, this equation, which form is there? Linear equation in two variables. Two variables is standard form. Okay. This is the final answer.
Now, 14th question. See, write the formula to find the sum of first n terms. Sum of first n terms means we will write the formula of Sn. Of the arithmetic progression, write first term is the A, last term is the L. First term we will take A, last term we will take L. Okay. Uh, now, with 14th question. Uh, sum of first n terms. Sum of first n terms. So, we will write SN formula. SN formula, what is there? N by 2 into A plus an an means last term so what we will write n by 2 into first term we will take a plus last term we will take l this is the answer an plus we will write a a plus we will write a only so the, like this we will write sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l is the answer now fifth question write the conditions for the similarity of two polynomials having the same number of sides okay conditions for the similarity we will write okay conditions for the similarity what are the conditions are there first condition corresponding angles are equal so first condition corresponding angles are equal right corresponding angles are equal angles are equal this is the first condition next second condition what corresponding sides are proportional so right here corresponding corresponding sides are corresponding sides are proportional p r o p o r p i o n l proportional so conditions for the similarity what conditions are there two conditions corresponding angles equal one to corresponding sides are proportional okay now 16th question see beta the area of a base of a cylinder is 38.5 centimeter and its height is 10, 10 centimeter find its value okay in this uh, cylinder is given base of a cylinder area of the base of the cylinder is 38.5 centimeter this is the base of the cylinder this area how much is there 38.5 centimeter square given again he is given what height this is cylinder height how much is there 10 centimeter is that height given uh, base of the uh, this base cylinder base given okay this base which shape is there circle shape is there okay so this circle area given area of the circle first this base circle shape is there so now right here area of circle how much is there area of the circle 38.5 centimeter square area of the circle formula what pi r square is equal to 38.5 you keep one side. Next, again, what is given in the question? Height given. Height is equal to 10 centimeter is given. Okay. Now, we will find what volume of the, find its value. Okay. Uh, right here, volume of cylinder is equal to, volume of cylinder, volume of cylinder formula what? Pi r square h. Pi r square h. Now, what you know, you can apply it. So, this pi r square already you know how much is that? This pi r square value 38.5 into height how much is there? 10. So, 38.5 into 10 means 3850. So, one digit after point no value. 385 value. Value means we will write a centimeter cube. So, now we completed which which uh, first multiple choice questions so one mark one mass questions next video we will do two mass questions again you have any doubt also comment it and subscribe my channel